Hello friends, this video Konix Kitchen part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Konix section part 1 to part 11. Latest rectum of hyperbola is also 2b square by a. So here also if you see the latest rectum, this distance is nothing but 2b square by a. As we have seen in ellipse also, this latest rectum is nothing but a line which is passing through focus perpendicular to the axis, the axis and that meets the hyperbola. So this is the LR. That is 2b square by a. This hyperbola, here we have to find the coordinates of foci, vertices, eccentricity, length of LR of hyperbola. So this is all this form x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1. And this is nothing but x square by 3 square minus y square by 4 square is equal to 1. So we can say a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4. Correct? a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4. c is equal to also we can find is nothing but root of a square plus b square and that is root of 9 plus 16 and that is 5. So foci in this case will be so since this is x square minus y square, this is not y square minus x square. So foci will be in x axis. So it will be plus minus c comma 0. So this becomes plus minus 5 comma 0. Similarly, vertices is equal to plus minus a comma 0. That becomes plus minus 3 comma 0. And eccentricity e is nothing but c by a, that is 5 by 3. And LR is nothing but 2b square by a, so that means 32 by 3. That is the answer. Very simple, we have just compared this equation with x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1. We got the value of a and b, we got the value of c. Fok is equal to plus minus c comma 0 because this is of this form of hyperbola. So it will be on the x-axis. Similarly, vertices will also be plus minus a comma 0. So we have to find the equation of hyperbola with foci is 0 comma plus minus 3. So here if you see the foci is in y-axis. Let's draw this. Okay, this is plus 3, this is minus 3, this is the this is the hyperbola and the vertices are, this is the vertices plus 11 by 2, root 11 by 2, this is minus root 11 by 2. Now you have to find the equation. Now since we know that f is equal to 0 plus minus c and this is equal to 0 plus minus 3 so c is equal to 3 equation 1 similarly vertices is 0 plus minus comma plus minus root 11 by 2 and that is nothing but 0 plus minus a correct so a is equal to root of 11 by 2 we have a we have c. b square is equal to c square minus a square. Correct? Or this is equal to c square is equal to 9 minus a square 11 by 4 is equal to 36 minus 11 by 4 that is 25 by 4. Or we can say b is equal to root of 25 by 4 that is 5 by 4. So we have a, b and c. The equation is very simple. This is of this form. So it is, the equation is y square by a square minus x square by b square is equal to 1. Since the foci is on the y axis, the equation is of this form. So we can say y square by a square that is 11 by 4 minus x square by 25 by 4 
is equal to 1. Or if you want, we can see this as 4y square by 11 minus 4x square by 25 is equal to 1. This is the equation. Please make a note here the foci was on the y axis. So the equation is y square by a square minus x square by b square is equal to 1. S we would have written x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1. Okay. Here also we have to find the equation of hyperbola where the foci are 0 comma plus minus 2. Here also if you see the foci is on the y axis. Correct. And the LR is 36. Let's draw the hyperbola first. This is our hyperbola because the foci is here plus 12 and this is minus 2, 0, correct? And LR is so F foci is nothing but 0, comma plus minus C and this is equal to 0, comma plus minus 12. Therefore, C is equal to well, that is one equation. LR is nothing but 2B square by A and that is equal to 36. So we can say B square is equal to 18A. 18A. 2 is cancelled. This is one more equation. Also we have C square is equal to A square plus B square. This equation we have. Correct. So we can say that c square is 144 is equal to a square is a square and b square is 18 a square we can say 18 a. So if you solve this equation what we get let, let's solve this equation a square plus 18 a minus 144 is equal to 0. So what we can say this as a square plus 24 a minus 6 minus 144 is equal to 0 or a into a plus 24 and a minus 6 is equal to 0. Therefore, a is equal to 6 or minus 24. Minus 24 we can ignore because a is never negative. So, a is equal to 6. Therefore, a is equal to 6 b square is equal to 18 into a that is 1 not a or this is the value of b square. Now since this equation is of this form where the foci is on the y axis, the actual equation will come out to be y square by a square minus x square by b square is equal to 1 or y square by a square is equal to 36 minus x square by 1 not 8 is equal to 1 and that is the answer. What we have done here, we have the foci, we got the value of c, we have lr, so we have got relation between b and a and we also know that c square is equal to a square plus b square and then we got the value of a, we got the value of b and c and then we wrote the equation y square by a square minus x square by b square is equal to 1. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.